Hi, my name's Andy, and uh, I've been playing with this uh, ZI8, and uh, one of the things I find a little bit limiting about it is uh, the focal range. Uh, the the close-up is uh, great, have the close-up lens, um, but the limitation of uh, about a, a meter or a yard away from the image, in, image that you're uh, photographing or the object uh, that you're photographing is uh, a bit of a problem sometimes. And uh, I find I want to be able to see what's on the screen, uh, so I'm holding the camera away, and yet if it's something I need to touch to demonstrate, uh, I, I can't be in both places at the same time, as it were. Uh, but what I've found is that a, a simple pair of reading glasses uh, in front of the lens uh, makes a, a big difference, and it means that I can get the lens of the camera uh, uh, about a foot or 300 millimeters away from the object so I can still get behind the camera and see uh, what's happening but I can bring the object into sharp focus and um, I've got some uh, three diopter glasses here so they're just uh, ordinary uh, sorry uh, ordinary uh, reading glasses and uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'll just lower the camera so that you can see uh, this uh, image of uh, an old tram there and uh, I'll zoom in and now I'm just putting the, the glasses sorry we don't want the reflection of the uh, uh, the LED um, uh, that's with the, uh, the glasses uh, in front of the lens uh, and that's without so um, very simple uh, uh, but extremely effective it means that I can uh, get behind the uh, the lens and I can uh, get my hand to to touch something so I can give a demonstration of what's happening so this is what's happening here I've got the glasses in front of the lens taking them away uh, once you come to terms with the fact that uh, you can do this uh, then uh, reasonably there are all sorts of of our uh, optics uh, that you can uh, uh, look at uh, using this camera. The lens seems to be very close to uh, uh, the characteristics of our eyes, I guess. Okay, so I'll show you some other items that I've been playing with. That's a spider on the window uh, with the normal close-up lens. Um, and that's the same spider using this and this is a times nine loop Yeah, I thought this uh, was interesting. It's something I haven't been able to do before with any camera that I've had. And I'm using the Kodak ZI8 and um, a pair of binoculars to look at the moon. I've got the binoculars on a tripod and just uh, holding the camera against the eyepiece. Like this, I'm zoomed in on the camera. I'll zoom out there and uh, just give you some idea uh, there's the uh, the camera uh, the moon, got the light on in here so the, the, uh, there's the moon outside and then just uh, move, the, uh, move the tripod Once you come to terms with the fact that the uh, that the lens can do what your eye can do, you can uh, play with all sorts of interesting things. This is uh, a hair in uh, the microscope. Right, I've just got the uh, the lens at a couple of millimeters uh, above 
the uh, eyepiece of the microscope and uh, I can zoom in uh, very tricky to hold it and you really need a tripod to hold it um, but uh, that's uh, that's a hair that's uh, hopefully quite a large image on, uh, on your screen so I just thought that was uh, interesting uh, this is frost on uh, some uh, slate So that's with the normal close-up lens on the camera and then using the loop 